City leaders in rain are working to add the Old Spanish Trail Highway to the list of scenic byways. Today they held the first ever OST networking conference. Josh Many fills us in. Work started on the Old Spanish Trail in 1915 to make the shortest route from the Pacific to the Atlantic. Highways 80 and 90, as we know them today, are part of the Transcontinental Roadway. The Route 66 of the South is what uh, some people call the OST. You know, uh, look at all of the different kinds of history and all of the romance and all of the, the uh, novel things that happen along Route 66 across the country from songs that are written about it to TV programs made about it. Well, we've got the same thing with the OST. The OST committee is working with the state to get it designated as an official scenic byway. Different kinds of spots on the side of the road where people can visit significant things that, uh, that would be attractive to tourists and those are in pamphlets and in maps and in other kinds of, of ways uh, communicated to tourists and, and travelers in this area. Business experts say the extra attention would help municipalities along the OST to showcase local art and culture to boost their economies. That's how you get the city halls and your local governments involved because it increases sales tax revenue, it creates jobs, and it creates new businesses. By making Old Spanish Trail a scenic byway, those who saw its treasures would be able to share it with visitors. One of those gems remembered by an OST committee member is a dance hall that was once located in rain, then closed in the 70s. That was a Cajun tradition to start off with. I mean, girls danced together, and then later on, well, hopefully somebody was going to ask us to dance, and uh, hopefully we weren't too shy. <laughs> and then we would come and we would dance and that's where I found my husband. Until the decision is made, historians will continue making known the significance of the highway. In rain, Josh Many, KTC TV3.